Hello and welcome back how to make a graph editor, dialogue editor in GraphView. Yeah, good, we know. So last time we made the notes and now we are going to make the thing to actually find the notes, no, graph the notes. So we're going to make a note search window. Did I spell that correctly? Let's have a look, see. There we go. And I gotta move my notes. And let's see, is that spelled correctly? It is not. So let's fix that first. Uh, da da da. A C H. Hey, there we go. Just make sure it also changed out here. There we go. All right. Beautiful. So. Note search window, make sure you have that as well. <laughs> all right, so let's delete all this in here and we need to have it to be a scriptable object. All right, so scriptable object. We also need it to have the search function. Uh, the I search window provider. I, uh, I think we need the graph view interface. So it's just, oh. Using Unity, the editor editor dot extension dot graph view. There, well, then we should have it. There we go. I search provider, and then we can quickly see what it wants us to have. It wants us to have the the tree where uh, where we create which things you can actually see to look for and what happens when you select them. So let's just delete everything inside. Wonderful. And of course they are throwing some uh, errors. So let's just go down here and say return false and return uh, back to just go null for now. All right. We need, of course, to have a reference to our uh, editor window. So we are going to say editor. Uh, and I can't spell again, or what is happening? Uh, dialog editor window, there we go. Just call that editor window, and of course, our dialog graph, dialog graph view, and then graph view. And we're, of course, going to make, uh, hmm. So my notes suggest I make a confide file instead of the constructor. Let me just first look. Have a look, see why it suggests that. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because we are making it as a scriptable object. Alrighty, so we're gonna make a config file. At least I, that is what I hope it says. And the reference. Da, da, da. And graph view. And let's have the beautiful underscores on it. Wonderful, wonderful. And go graph view equals graph view. Alrighty. Now that we have that set up, let's actually make uh, the search tree. So we need to make a search tree. So of course we're simply just going to say search tree just call it uh, let's just call it tmp equals new search tree uh, with a new GUI contact that has uh, wait this is the wrong one isn't it uh, da, 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 da. 
right search tree. Oh no 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 no! I don't I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, I maybe shouldn't record this late. I'm funny enough, kind of tired. So we are going to make a, a new list of search tree. Uh, we're just gonna call tree equals new list of search tree. And in here, we're going to make a new uh, search tree group. We are going to call that new GUI content. Camera zero. And we're going to give it a name. We're going to call this dialog node. And Let's just duplicate this, this is much easier. Then go one. And this is of course dialog. Right, so this will be the header and then you can pick dialogs. So that means you will come into um, the dialog option we've just selected and then we're just gonna add the notes for the dialog. So let's see. Uh, we need to make the options to return a search tree. Let's just do that here. So we're gonna go private search tree entity. And then go add node search. All right, and that is going to return. Uh, yeah, let's just. We're going to give it a string with a name and the base of the node, what type of node it is. We're just going to say base node. All right, so we're going to go search tree, TMP for temporary equals new search to T. And that's the new GUI content with the name. And then uh, decided which watch we're actually going to put into it. Right. Let me just check my notes again. Oh no, we're actually not going to put anything in here. I'm just a little tired. Sorry. Alrighty. And we're going to set the level to equals two. And the user data to equals. Uh, underscore note and we're going to end it and then we're of course going to return the DMP all right so that means we can now use the notes up here so we simply go oh yeah we're not allowed to do that there it's comma so the first one let's just say that will be stat note and why is that turning as an error? Oh yeah, 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 that's because we haven't set it to be stat node. There we go. And then just go one, two, three. And we're of course going to say return tree. And then this one here and go, uh, da, 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 da. let's say dialog node. Going event node and going end and node. Let's just copy that in here. There we go. And then space, space, and space. Beautiful. All right, so. We of course, when uh, we actually select it, we of course want to return the thing we actually selected. So we need to send the mouse position. We need to get our mouse position. So we're gonna go uh, mouse. Oh, mouse position equals editor dot root. 
dot J oh. Am I taking the right thing here? Let's have a look. Yeah. Chains. Scroll distance two. This is because we don't have. Yeah. There we go. Just needed the the reference. And we're just gonna go like this. And we're gonna go. Editor dot root dot parent and then oh because I haven't put underscores here and underscores content dot screen to mouse position minus Editor Windows Position of its position. Sounds a little weird, but uh, we're pretty much uh, going into the editor window and telling it that we want the position of the editor window and the position of the mouse minus the editor's Windows position. So it should be where the mouse is on the screen's position. That is the position we we want to return. Uh, oh yeah, we also need to minus the uh, the graph use position off. So let's just do that as well. So mouse position is equal graph. Oh, graph view dot content viewer condition. Dot world world to local and then we're gonna go mouse position. There we go. That is one big mouthful. And then we're also going to make another one here called private bool uh check uh node type. And that is going to take in the search tree and the vector to underscore position. There we go. And we're going to make a switch case that takes in the user data. And we're not going to have uh, yeah, let's just have the default there, and then return false. All right, so now we need to make a case if it is a starter node. It's gonna go node. So if it's a starter node, we want it to uh, first return true. Then we want it to make. Uh, yeah, make it in graph view. So make data node. Uh, let's just make one, two, three. And it's going to be da log oh. dialog node event node and node. All right. And we are going to take this one in here. Oh. Go search tree, comma, the graph mouse position. All right, let me just take my notes if that looks correct. It seems to do. All right, so now we need to go into our graph view and actually make it so we can uh, make the different notes. But uh, that will be in our next video.